and action, hopefully, I think. Uh, we're... Today we're building... Uh, today we're building a... A, um, a free Furby. Um, I don't know how in the world this happened or what is going on. But I got I got a Furby. Um, I was in this classroom. I've got a voice call running as well in a Furby Discord server. So if anybody wants to join and record with me, uh, they they can do that. So if you hear other people showing up, that is why. Um, we're building a free Furby. Bit of context. I was um, at a school um, in the sort of general lab area. I open up this drawer that says parts. And I see two bags of just random electronics. I have them up here. There's a bag. Bag the first, just general plastic bits. Bag the second, which is more electronic component-y stuff. Um, then I stop, I pause, and I realize that's an entire fucking Furby. And I and I ask if I can have the bags, because of course I do. Um, I take them I take them home and uh, now I have a free Furby that I can build at my own leisure. So that's what we're going to be doing today. It's probably going to be a multi-part series. I have never built a Furby before, obviously. I have no idea what to do or what is going on. So uh, we're going to... And the interesting thing is that this eye was painted red or doodled red by someone. So this is someone's custom. So if you are watching this... And you are the person who owns this custom. Uh, well, your Furby has gone to a good home. I'm going to get a tin. I'm going to lay everything out in a tin. Uh, so that I don't lose any of it. Splap this down here. Splap is now a word. I've decided. Uh, some of this will be off camera. Yeah, so we just got pretty much the entirety of a Furby. Um, pretty much the entirety of a... Here's the battery compartment. Uh, or part of it. Here's the other half. Copyright 1998 Tiger Electronics. It's an RL Furby. Um, lots of very, very tiny little plastic bits that... Uh, there's part of an audio cable. So they, they are, there are just, like, generic components in here. It's not all Furby stuff, but it is mostly a Furby. Um, it is mostly a Furby. Uh, I don't, there's no, there's no beak, there's no um, other eye, so it's just one eye. It's single eye Furby. Going to... Let me send to see if anybody just... Joined. No one has joined the uh, call yet. So anybody wants to watch me? Anyone wants to watch the live Furby assembly? I never thought I'd be doing something like this. So we need to plop this forward. We're going to have to do some uh, rearranging here of various recording devices. here. These people can sort of see what I'm doing. Um, and then in bag number two, we just have the electronics. It's just, it's just a Furby. It's just a Furby. So here's the, uh, I gotta get everything untangled here. Here's the, uh, here's the motor assembly. Um, here's the sort of main board here. Um, lots of little funny uh, things to plug in. Here's the, uh, here's the IR, I think. Yep, that's the IR. Looks like, and, um, mystery component. I think that might be a tilt switch. Some, some sort of switch. Yeah, at least one part of the IR in here. Don't know where the other parts went. 
crap, so let's plug into something different. Uh, right, I've got no idea where any of this goes, so for now we are just laying it out. This is another sensor of some sort. Something to do with, it looks like it goes around front. This is probably the, uh, uh, tickle sensor. We just have this absolutely destroyed speaker here, which we're probably going to have to find a replacement for. Um, really, that's about it. There are a few more screws and things in this bag. Uh, yeah, so I am really not entirely sure what I should be doing here. Um, I mean, we're building a Furby. That's That much is obvious. I'm going to start with getting, like, the battery compartment and whatnot in place. See what we can uh, do there. Xbox, my Xbox just made a noise. Xbox noise. Um, there's that. That goes in like, hold on. I'm trying to get the shell together currently. Actually, let's let's attach the uh, the lower battery area to the battery compartment. Uh, I don't. I'm not entirely sure what has happened with because uh, some some of the shell is just like tiny bits. Like they're just like random pieces of. One side of the shell is just missing part of it. No, it's not missing part of it. It's missing... No, it's all here. It's just been cut into various pieces. Someone stole plastic from this at one point. Uh, so we will be hopefully reviving the furb. It's just that I'm not entirely sure where to start. I've, you know, it's, I very clearly I do not, you know rebuild free Furbies from scratch every day. That is not something that one does often. This is the, so these are the speaker wires here. On this, um, thing. Oh, no, wait, that was something else. Here's the IR sensor. Um. So this is just gonna be a sort of taking inventory episode, I suppose. Just sort of generally seeing what we have and what we can do with it. Um, here's an ear rod. Oh, here's the other ear rod. Yeah, we, it's just it's just a Furby. There's not really much else to say about it. It is literally just a Furby. Oh god, I dropped a thing. That can't be good for it. Oh, here's another sensor of some sort, some variety. Oh, uh, yeah. One of these sensors. But no, I see several places where this could plug in. As I mentioned previously, I have never put together a Furby before. This should be all we need. We should just be able to solder these wires to the battery connections attach a speaker and just have a Furby that, or at least a Furby board that works um, and then we can work on putting the rest together. Uh, yeah, again, it's it's a Furby. There's not really much else that I have to say about it. Bunch of little uh, bits of steel wool and just like what appear to be just random irrelevant speakers. Speaking of speakers, here's a bit from that. Yeah, free Furby uh, repair slash assembly slash whatever the fuck you may want this to be. Yeah, these are just little speakers. Um, they've got steel wool all over them as a result of there being steel wool in the bag. Um, I don't know how steel wool got in the bag. Here's the rest of the, or here's the, here's the actual Furby speaker, or what's left of it. Um, yeah. So, clearly this was parted out at some point. Um. I'm assuming we'll be able to get new eyes and beaks and shit 3D printed. Here's the, uh. Just 
Kirk, maybe we don't have a rod for the eyes, do we? Yeah, we're gonna need a lot of, uh, here's the, here's the one eye and the rest of the face plate. Oh, I found the, uh, covering for the IR sensor. Um, so, if I put the IR sensor in that, it would look like, oop, it would look like something like, uh, And put it in. There you go. IR is hooked up to the uh, IR cover is attached to the board now. Yeah, I'm not really sure what to do with this. I'm very clearly going to need help with this. I mean, I'm I'm putting together an entire Furby from scratch, pretty much. I don't really know what I'm meant to be doing here. Yeah, I'm gonna try and piece together what's left of the uh, right side of the shell because clearly, clearly someone's done something here. I'm getting more Xbox noises. Um, here's this bit. It keeps falling apart because it's not like a complete Furby shell and it doesn't have enough stuff to support it. Um, I'm not even entirely sure what part of the Furby this is meant to be. It is, it is part of it. I think I've figured out where it goes. Um, I can't really attach it to anything because, once again, I don't have any, just part of the speaker thing. And we have this, just random bit of what appears to be 3D printed plastic that seems completely irrelevant to the Furby. Here's another uh, fragment of the speaker. I'm gonna definitely need a new speaker for this thing. Uh, can I get the, um, oh, oh god. No, okay, I was gonna say, can I get the faceplate in there, but the whole thing fell apart. Um, which is probably, probably that means no, you cannot get the faceplate in there. You utter buffoon. Or something along those lines. Yeah, there's no, this guy has no skin. I don't know where the skin went, but this guy has no skin. Zero, zero skin. The skinless Furby. Uh, we do have the, uh, the whole motor mechanism. Uh, which means we can still hook a motor up to this. It's a whole Furby gearbox. Seems to be locked. Oh, wait, no. There it goes. Stuff's clicking. Probably because it is not meant to be moving in such a way. Oh, no, it isn't, uh turning, it's just clicking against the part that isn't turning. Wait, is this moving? This bit's moving this. To figure out if the gearbox is in the proper working order. It is, we're just missing some bits. Hmm. It's probably going to be the slogan of this whole build. It, it works, we're just missing bits. That is, uh, so yeah, I'd say that is about it for the first episode of holy fuck I found a free Furby and now you have to build it I honestly might send this off to someone who is more knowledgeable about Furbies to get it fixed and built and then have them send it back uh, yeah cause I, but I do want to give this Furby I would like to give this Furby life again no matter the uh, circumstances I'd like to, because clearly this guy's been through some stuff, so I want to give him a nice loving home and put it back together. Oh, here's another uh, shell bit. I just paused when I looked up at my Shelby. <laughs> Uh, oh, here's part of the back, I think, yeah. Back of the shell. 
pet sensor bit. So that's like, we're missing like, a significant chunk of the right shell. Someone's clearly taken a bit out of the right shell and used it for God knows what. And there's just like, quite a large chunk of, because here's, here's what I've got, right? Big furb chunk missing there. What I'm going to try and do is I'm going to try and get the shell back together first. First and foremost, I want to fix the shell, or at least get somewhat of an assessment of what we have going on shell-wise. So I'm going to get a screwdriver, or I'm going to see if I can obtain a screwdriver. I'm going to see if I can find where the hell I put my screwdriver, and I'm going to do screwdriver things. And by that, I mean put some screws in a fureb. I'll be right back. Alright, I think I found something that'll work. Hopefully. Yes, that fits and is able to screw things into various positions. Which is exactly what I need it to do. Not entirely sure. We've got some of the screws for the Furby. Not all of them, but some a significant amount of the Furby screws. Trademark. I'm actually not even sure if half of these are Furby screws or if they are where the fuck they go. Oh, that there's not a screw hole for that one. Okay. Does this one have a screw hole? There's like... Okay, so 99% of these so-called screw holes are large, unpopulated, or if it... No, wait. I was putting it in the wrong way. I'm stupid and dumb and dumb and stupid. All right, that makes more sense, significantly more. Um, I gotta get the screw actually in the thing, in the hole, the screw hole, which will be quite the exercise, I'm predicting. Yeah, it doesn't just like fit in. It, oh wait, I got it, I got it. Okay. Something, 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 Furby. La, 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 Right. Screw the Furby together. Right, so that is, we've got about, like, half the shell done. I don't know why I'm showing this for the Discord camera. No one's watching on Discord. Um, one other bit that I think I can screw in here. And that'll probably um, get us about as far as we can putting the shell back together wise. I gotta get the other screw in the other hole. Easier. You now we just need to screw the thing in. Uh, 
hope the Furby board still works. I haven't tested the board yet. I'm just, like, taking inventory of the bits that I have. I need to actually know where everything connects to the board, meaning that I need to look up, like, some variety of Furby schematic. Don't know why I pronounced that so weird. Schematic. Uh, which will no doubt be very fun and not at all absolute hell for me. Okay, so good news. We have, like, almost 100% of the shell. Here, so here's, here's the shell in its current state. Um, probably gonna glue this all together at some point. Oh no, wait, the bit that we are missing was actually that piece, that so-called irrelevant 3D printed piece, I believe. Yeah, that's part of the, the Furby. It's like the bit that we're missing, or some of it anyway. It's like weirdly bent and like melted. So, that's that'll be fun to try and get back in shape. Uh, we do have most of a Furby shell. The bit that is missing, I doubt, will be super important, and it might even just be in here. Someone might just cut up the shell because, like, screw it. I don't, I don't know. That would be weird, but I wouldn't put it past someone. Uh, right, so that is going to do it for this episode of whatever in the flying fuck I'm going to call the series. I think I just got a bit of steel wool in my eye. Oh, God.